Hey everyone, welcome back to Possible Audio. In this episode, I rebuild the AM board and the stereo multiplex decoder board. These two boards are located stacked on top of each other just behind the signal and strength meter. Be sure to take lots of photos of the wiring because you're going to unsnip the wires on the post. And it's imperative that you have good photos from all different angles. The wiring on my receiver, the colors of the wires may be different than the colors of the wires on your receiver. So please do this. Outside of that, it's really uneventful. Be sure to like and subscribe and let's get to the video. I'm working on the AM board and the stereo multiplex decoder board, which is located underneath the AM board. This board right here is the AM board. And underneath it, yeah, but it's not that bad. First thing you need to do is take lots of pictures of the wiring and how all the wires attach to these posts. There's a post here, there's one here and here and so forth and so forth. So take lots of photos of that. And after you do that, you're going to take some wire snips and you're going to carefully just snip each wire right here, real close to the post. You'll have plenty of length left if you snip it right as close to the post as you can. And after you do that, and you get your wires out of the way, there's a couple over there, there's a black and red one here that attached to these two posts, and there's another little bundle of wires coming out of the side that went through here and attached. So just get those out of the way, and then you're going to remove the Phillips located here, and there's one here, and again right here was another one, and right there was another one. And after that, you can come in here. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to lift that board right off the top, and you'll still have these metal the standoffs the board was sitting on, which is one there. And there's a Phillips right here and one there. And you're just going to remove this. Same thing right here right there you're going to remove the phillips that was there and there was one right here and after you get that out of the way then we're going to get to the board underneath and see i just left the am board attached with one wire i don't know why i should have just snipped that but regardless after you do that you're going to remove that phillips this Phillips right here, and then there's another one here, and another one right here, and there's a brown wire. This brown wire, you can barely see it. There we go. It attaches to that post. Snip that, and once you do that, this board will lift from this side. It'll flip right up, and you can get to both sides. I've already recapped it. And you just have to just kind of be careful and you can you can work it up and once you get it up flipped up on its end you will have plenty of room to get to the back side i didn't cut any of the wires right here i left all of these attached because this side again flips right up and um when you get this board the the uh, multiplex board bolted back down this board right here, when you get that bolted back down with these screws in it, be sure your brown wire, where's the brown wire? Ugh, right here. The brown wire is not trapped under the board, okay? So very important. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem. The tuner string, I felt like was going to get burned. So I took a clip and I clipped onto it, onto the pulley, which was located right here behind the meters. There was a little pulley that was attached right here behind the two meters. So I put a sandwich bag clip on it and I moved it very carefully off to the side. And that way I can get that brown wire soldered on. And not only that, this is a good time to attack the front lighting. And change that out to LED. Definitely remove the tuner string. <laughs> I'm so glad I made that decision because 
after fishing the brown wire back into place, there's no way I could have done that without burning that string in half. But you can tell it's on there. The jacket is a little pulled away from the heat, but I believe it's gonna be fine. That music you hear is coming out of the right channel. When I put it on the left channel, you can't hear anything until you turn the volume up really high and I can just barely hear it playing out of the left channel but let me turn it back down when I press the mono button hey we got music out both channels so we got something going on right in there so let me figure it out I believe I found the problem right here so let me fix that and we'll give it another try i fixed the problem it wasn't that i thought it was but it wasn't it was actually capacitors four capacitors these are wemas and the leads were simply way too short and i kind of suspected it was going to be an issue but I dug around in my capacitor box and I uh, had exactly what I needed. Well, I learned something new. You remember, we just rebuilt this board and I had all those jumpers running to the AM board because I thought that somehow they worked together and that I needed them connected. I looked around, I was like, none of the wires are touching. I'm gonna take a chance. So we don't we didn't need to run all those jumpers to this board like I was thinking cuz you remember this board wasn't the one under test. I haven't done anything to that board. I just thought that it uh somehow tied in with this, but it doesn't. So I went through all that hassle with the jumpers for no reason. Got all new caps in the AM board, plus one there. Didn't forget. All right, um, this thing's kind of nasty. I don't know what's on it. Let me try to get it in a better view. See how gross that is? I don't know what's on here, but we're gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and clean it up. Okay, I'm going to try to do this where you guys can see me. And you know what? I don't want to just pour it straight on there. Let me prop it up like this. Let's just take our spool. There. All right. You know, this is just 99% isopropyl. And I'm just scrubbing putting a little bit on a time not dumping there we go that time it kind of flowed out so anyways i'm just using an old toothbrush and i'm going to sit here and scrub this down a little bit and rinse it off with more isopropyl i mean gosh it already looks so much better on this side i mean look at that So, that'll help clean the mess up. There we go. Okay, so I did that in. Now I'm going to flip it over. And we're going to do this side of the board because I can't reach very far. Man, this thing is dirty. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now... One more rinse. Let that dry. And it should be good. All right, let's get this tuner board back in place and deal with all the wires. First thing we gotta do is install these brackets. I installed this Phillips right here and then this one right down here and leave them loose. 
see how I got this where it's, it's moving? And that's because there's some adjustment in this bracket. And once we get the other bracket in, we're gonna leave it loose as well. Right. Now we're gonna take our AM board and we're just going to carefully line it up. There we go, you can see. And um, there we go, got that side and that side. And then we'll put the, uh, the four screws in, the four Phillips. There's one that goes here, 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 and here, and just get them started. And then don't tighten them up, but then you're gonna come back and then tighten up down here, okay? This down here and that one there, then you tighten these last. Got all of the Phillips screws tightened. It's looking good. Now you gotta reattach this red wire, this black wire. There's a blue one right here and another black one laying around. Then there's this whole bundle. So you gotta go look at all those pictures that you took earlier that I told you about. And you're gonna basically just, just strip the ends of the wires, like this black one's gotta be stripped. If you can see if it'll focus. So that's got to be stripped and twisted. And you're just going to wrap it around uh, whichever post it goes to. You're going to wrap it around the post and solder it. So that's what we're going to do from here. All right. So I have a problem with trying to twist wires. And if you see this wire, I had to strip it and cut it. And I had to twist it. But I don't have a wrist to do that. So I just put this clip on here. And I'm holding the phone, but I would grab the wire and just start twisting this clothespin. All right, we got the AM board and the MPX multiplex board wired up. It wasn't no big deal. It's pretty easy to do, really. Um, there's a black wire that comes right out of here and it goes underneath. You can't see it. It goes underneath and attaches there as well as a blue wire that runs underneath but the rest were pretty much straightforward it wasn't hard and let's give it a test let's see here okay there we go let's see what we got one thing I've noticed is it's um it's quieter. The AM comes in a little more clean, and that's that's the main difference. The uh, on FM, um, I can't tell any difference after rebuilding the uh, multiplex stereo board, but. You know, we're, I didn't do this. I didn't do those two boards because I wanted it to sound different or better. I did it because I want them to last. Let me show you guys my little helper. Or maybe I should call him my big helper. His name is Sprout, like a bean sprout. He weighs about 80 pounds. Hey, bud. Sprout. Good boy.